Welcome back guys to yet another video on this channel today. I have a little combination of a video I want to start this video out by talking to you guys about when and how we're going to craft a rank 7 legendary uh, In 9.2. So this is what that video is going to be about But before we get into it make sure you drop a like on the video and a comment down below of what you're excited for for 9.2 in 9.2 if there's anything specifically you're working on maybe some type of goals I'd love to hear about it um but now that that's done, because you've obviously clicked on it now, that sweet like button, uh, we're going to be talking about the Tome of Eternal, uh, you know, Vestige of Eternal, whatever you want to call it. The basic uh, idea of it is going to be we get one new rank, and that is going to be rank 7, which is one higher than rank, uh, rank 6, which is the max one that we had from 9.1. And we are going to be looking at it, at getting it after Chapter 5 of the 9.2 campaign. Now, when do we get to Chapter 5? We get to chapter 5 in week 3. So that means the 22nd to 23rd, obviously, for NA and EU. The first week is week 1. And then the week after that, which is the 1st and 2nd of March, is going to be week 2. And then the week after that, which is going to be the 8th and 9th of March, that week when that reset happens is when people are going to start being able to get these vestiges. Now, the whole crafting part of the legendary... The whole base legendary, that's, that's what that will do for us, obviously. So the, the, the other part of crafting the legendary, which is using, you know, obviously uh, currencies for it, is a little bit different. I just wanted to talk to you guys about when this is going to come and what to prepare for it. And the second part of what to prepare for it, what kind of slots that we kind of can expect, uh, expect to be good maybe some best in slot pieces, things that we want to go for. Also for you guys that maybe haven't leveled up your ranks in legendaries, um, that's what the second part of this video is for. We talked about it on my uh, on my Twitch stream at twitch.tv slash sensible, and uh, that's what we're going to hop over to now. It's a moment from my stream. I hope you guys enjoy it. Or enjoy it. And uh, yeah, there'll also be a link to the spreadsheet that we actually looked over in the video down in the description below, probably also in the comments, so make sure you check it out. Anyways, let's get to it. So obviously this is going to be, you know, information that might change depending on how the PCR goes. Oh, is this the old one? New removed legendaries. Legendary list. So all slots from the legendary list sheet. This is going to be the... So this is, this is the amount of classes that will use that certain slot, right? That's what it is. Final sheet shows by highest available stat slot. Oh, this? Okay. But but the numbers are based on 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 like how many classes or specs uses it, right? Yeah, I mean, we can see very clearly here. This, this is what I was talking about as well. What you want to go for, most likely, are going to be the high high uh stat slots. So the ones that give the most stats, because legendary is gonna be 291. So you're looking at chest, legs, head, and shoulders, uh, which are, you know, those four legendaries are arguably going to be much better than the other ones are. Because you can see, I mean, the percentages are quite heavy. It's almost double the amount in in, in use, right? And then there's going to be smaller uses for feet, uh, hands, waist, and wrists. There is zero uses for capes, which is very interesting. Next and in, and a lot of people will be using uh, necks and shoulders seem very good. But cloak seems, you know, no uses at all for the cape. That's very interesting. Not even alternatives. That's wild. So the worst thing, based on, based on, on this, right? I don't trust a ring uh, neck data, to be honest. He didn't compare them like for like yeah but either way if we look at the highest stat, stat slots right this is for somebody that cannot level all of their legendaries at the same time you want to start by going for the high high tier uh, stat slots first so the chest legs head and shoulders and then after that you can decide if you want to go for these feet hands waist and wrists or if you want to go for necks and and rings right stat wise it's head chest legs yeah but it might be because it's competing with some uh, you know, mastery sluts and all that. But this is ob obviously theoretical. This might change based on, you know, if they make any changes. 
but this gives us a pretty good idea of what what's going to be good to go for but you know we'll see it also depends on what kind of players you have on your realm uh how many raiding guilds how many hardcore players how many casual players because casual players could still go around and say i want a cape for my legendary you know and then comes to comes to time where you gotta pick two legendaries right you gotta have a you gotta have two legendaries as well at some point so yeah but it makes sense to go for the high high stat slots first and then yeah that seems to be pretty much it to what what we're gonna focus on oh see see this is why this is why you can see here the following rune carving powers can only be crafting on one of the five tier sets uh set slots as a result they cannot be used in that slot whilst uh while still having a, U a unity legendary item on another tier slot as this would only leave three slots left thus preventing the four set tier bonus to be activated this is why so wh when we do get our second legendary this is very important to think about but that's that's why that makes sense i think people are going to do a lot of very interesting builds and i think also throughout the patch people are probably going to move around because they're going to hotfix certain things how they work and you know to tune and balance and when people go into the raid and all that so this is you know this is probably most likely going to change but this is a good uh, indicator for people that go into the patch especially if they're considering what like to level up now right it's pretty good